Hello, welcome to this tutorial on uh, scalable content panes with uh, JavaFX and JFXtras. First of all, thanks a lot for all your feedback. Um, it's really amazing how many of you tried the window control and, and I really appreciate all of your feedback and, and code contributions and suggestions. Um, some of you suggested that I should be more active on social networks. And I promise I will. I will try Twitter and Google Plus, so just follow me there and I promise I'll be more active um, in the future. So yeah, and also sorry for not posting for such a long time. I was just too busy lately. Um, okay, um, but now get started on the scalable content pane example. Um, you can download uh, this example from my uh, web page. Everything should be self-contained. It contains uh, the JF Extras library. And I've recently added a scalable content pane to it that we will use in this tutorial. Okay, so what's it all about? If you have content that doesn't fit into a specified bounding box, then one option is to add a scroll bar, as you can see here in this editor. I can scroll up and down, and also in the output window, I can scroll up because there are so many warnings and GTK critical warnings um, that it do not fit into the specified bounding box. Another really exciting approach is to just scale the content so it fits into the specified bounding box. And I use this a lot for the window control, for uh, control flow um, and data flow based applications where I wanna uh, display large uh, workflows. Um, and there it's really important to give an overview over the whole application. And in text-based application, it's really necessary to, to, to keep the size because the user won't be able to read it you know, if you, if you scale uh, the text to the appropriate size. But if you display um, larger components like windows and you just wanna get an overview, this is really a nice approach um, um, for uh, displaying content. But before we use this uh, content pane, uh, let's get started with a very basic example. Um, in this case, we have a root pane, we add it to a scene, and we do the usual application setup here. And we add a window, window one, give it a title, call it just my window one, with uh, some size. Okay, and we add it to the root pane. So now let's add a second window, window two. We add this one as well and give it a different location. Maybe we say um, something like 400. And this will not fit into this scene. You see, it has a width of 600 and the second window will not fit into the bounding box. If we run the application, You see we have two windows, the second one doesn't fit into the window. So it's not exciting at the moment, but this will change in a minute. So now we add a scalable content pane. And just as the scroll pane, it has a, uh, um, a content pane. There is one predefined and uh, this will be root now. 
instead of root, we add the scaled pane to the scene. So now see what happens. Both window controls perfectly fit into this bounding box. And actually, a user wouldn't care if the windows are a bit smaller or not. Um, so this is a really nice example on, on how to use uh, scale content. Um, what I can do is I can drag this to the right. And as you can see, it will give you uh, a live update on, on the scale thing. So it really works very nicely. And if I resize um, my parent window, then it will resize till it reaches its original size, like this. So this works very well. And you can still um, resize the window. You can drag it around. Um, and now we will add some more complicated content to show that it really works with uh, all kinds of, of content you can imagine. Um, for that, we um, add something exciting, maybe a uh, web view. We get its um, engine and we say open. No, it's probably load or something. Yeah. Okay. We load um, google.com and we add the web view to the window. It also has a content pane and Get the children and add it to them. So, um, something off topic here. So, these three lines actually are really powerful because they say, I want a complete HTML5 web browser inside the window control. And this is why I really like uh, JavaFX and, and all of its API because it gives us so many very powerful media related uh, controls and nodes. Um, it's really amazing and I really like to work with it. Um, so, but now let's start the application and see whether the web view really works. Okay, here we go. We resize the main window a bit to view the content. Everything works nicely. I can search. Yeah, maybe let's search for a video. Video on Chef Extras. Okay. Let's look at this one here. I just turned down the audio. So, okay. Um, I can scale and I can still watch the video. I can switch to full screen. Yeah, and everything works nicely actually. I should be able to. Uh, go to a different position, play again, and all that. So it's really nice uh, to to see that also complicated content really works uh, in a scaled environment. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I hope you like um, uh, this stuff and that you will try out the, um, uh, the examples and yeah, please, Give me uh, any kind of feedback, give suggestions and improvements on the scaled uh, content pane. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon.